hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video i am going to share with you what is in my car if you guys are new here make sure you are subscribed ring the little bell and also follow me on instagram it would mean the absolute world to me this is a 2013 nissan cube they do not make them anymore she is white her name is pearl rose i love her so much she does have a little dings and i'll like share with you guys a little bit about them but over Overall, she's in good health um, and she's gonna get some treatments on Friday to keep up that good health yeah I just don't see anything wrong with this car it's an amazing car um, I've been driving it since junior year of high school and it's just amazing so um, I'm gonna just walk you through the exterior of her and then we'll get into what is inside her also leave a comment down below telling me if you have a car and what its name is if it's a girl boy whatever this is the front view of my car it just looks like this she has a few dings she just got in one little fender bender here that is what this little scrape mark is nothing too crazy she just had a car wash so i don't know why she's a little dirty but that's fine um this was actually my very first like encounter with like a car this guy in celebration he was like backing out of his driveway and then like rubbed against my car and then like said it was my fault crazy um but this is what the front looks like adorable and then coming to the side this is the driver's side and this is what it looks like super cute um i love the windows and there's just a bunch of cute little details another ding this happened in the universal team member parking lot the person actually left their registration information on my window but i ended up throwing it away i thought it was like some solicitor but it was actually probably due to this little ding here i do have the paint still but i just I haven't painted her up. This is the back of my car. And yes, I do have a crappy piece of paper there to cover up my license plate because if you guys ever blur anything out of videos, you guys know it takes forever and I don't want to have to worry about that. The door opens up like this. And as you guys can see, like I have like a lot of stuff in here. This box is something for work. I had to pick up stuff and like they gave me so many pens. So I have like a lot of pens in the back of my seat so if you guys ever need a pen um and then i have this charcoal i think this was from a hurricane got this i had no idea where to put it so it just lives in the back of my car like i don't really know why i'm gonna have to do something with that stuff but i love how spacious and everything this car is and as you guys can see like the door is really cool because it opens up to the side it's like another door this is the passenger side and as you can see she has a little boo-boo here we're gonna get that fixed on Friday they've ordered the parts but typically it is supposed to be like locked and then I pop it open when I want to get gas and then obviously this is the gas here is the other side and then we make our way I don't know really like what's going on here she's just gotten some boo-boos over time but that is pretty much my car on the exterior okay so you guys will have to forgive me but i have to have some air conditioning because it is so hot here seriously so sweaty so starting off this is the driver side door as you guys can see it's like really cool and huge the doors are actually pretty heavy my driver side window doesn't work that is not going to get fixed because it's very cosmetic and it'll probably cost me like an arm and a leg but the rest of the windows do work um i have some change in here and then which probably would not even pay a toll so i don't even know why i bother the rest of the stuff in here are just uh napkins and stuff and you will see so many cup holders like a bottle of water would fit in there um moving Moving on to the driver's seat. I love this thing so much. There's a cup holder right near the steering wheel. How cool is that? This is what the speedometer looks like. Um, it's kind of old, like it's not an LED screen at all, which I actually don't really mind because I kind of like it like this. So it's just like your normal thing. And I like the setting of seeing the miles and then how many miles I have before I'm out of gas. It's just really convenient. This is the little steering wheel here. I love it. I don't think this is like real leather. It's probably like a faux leather. I typically always have a drink with me like in my tumbler or water or whatever. And then moving down here, we have the air conditioning controls, kind of self-explanatory there. And I don't really know what this little pocket is for. 
to be honest i have no idea this is probably a um cigarette lighter but i don't really know i have never really needed that um moving up you can tell my radio is super old i love how the one requirement i had in 2013 was to have an aux cable because i need to be able to listen to my music and stuff that was like my only one requirement but you can see this is a little dated but honestly i don't really mind moving up here i typically keep my id but i'm not gonna like show that in this video but i typically have a mask here and this is my little car mount so if i do like drive with me which i haven't done in a long long time it just stays there and surprisingly it still sticks moving down here i have a hand sanitizer because like coronavirus just like it's convenient this is a glove i think from my mom she had gloves and then an extra backup mask i have a couple masks because i always forget to put one on here is the prindle as you guys can see again kind of self-explanatory again it looks kind of old-fashioned it's not like a wheel that you turn like my mom's car it's like very new it's a very simple car and i really like that about it then we have valerie mom's earring i was gonna take a picture and send it to her because i thought that was kind of funny it was just like randomly here it was actually on the floor but i picked it up the emergency brake and then we have this thing this is if you like accidentally drive into a lake or something and need to get it out very convenient to have like to punch the window and then like slice your um seat belt off this is another thing it's kind of similar to that but it's a phone charger as well so it's like a multiple safety thing and then i just have some business cards from a company then i have oh hey look a couple dollars i haven't looked at this in a long time then i have another business card with a hair clip and then this is the passenger side okay so now we are on the passenger side of the seat and it's very roomy love that about this car it has a little table here one of my friends was like so excited about the little table here the glove compartment um and then i have this tripod because i want to take some photos for the thumbnail so this is normally not in my car but it is for now um and then obviously my phone and this is just what the passenger seat looks like again another cup holder here more napkins i guess i have a pad there um and then i have some more change in this door very convenient very spacious Here's where all the magic happens. I'm just kidding. No, this is the back seat. And as you guys can see, this is one of my favorite parts of the car. It is this cool roof here. It looks like a water droplet and it's kind of like 3D vibes. I really like it. It's a cute little uh, detail to the car, which I appreciate. Then we have back here, this is actually more pins, which is like so funny. Um, so that's what that is. You got some Lysol wipes. Um, I have this car charger. It used to live up in the front, but since my mom was riding in the car, we put it back here. This is another cup holder. I guess I have a pad there. More pads. I guess I just have a feeling that like I'm gonna start and I'm not gonna have what I need. So that's kind of funny. Then I have these little wheelchair things for Valerie's mom. Here's a little pocket seat pouch. And then closing the door, this is what the door looks like. No change in this one. We have another cup holder right here. This is what the back looks like. So as you guys can see, look at this little window, I love it. Um, and then this is what the other side looks like. And then this is what the back looks like. Oh, I think I forgot. This is a must. More cup holders. There's so many cup holders. I guess my mom said I think that Nissan is known for cup holders. So it's really convenient that we have all these cup holders. I know in my last video, you guys wanted to hear the horn honk, so I will do that. Um, there's other cars on the road, so I'm a little concerned, but whatever, it's fine. It'll just be like a couple toots, and then I'll also do the locking one so you guys can hear that. I did not include that in my other video. It has been forever since I've done a car video. Okay, if you guys want to know what it kind of looks like to drive this car, this is kind of what it looks like. I love how high the roof is. The camera kind of distorts it, but... I love that it's high up, like there's room here, and then here it's it's more like a box, honestly. I know it's called a cube, so it would make sense, but the nose, I call it the nose of the car, is not long like a normal car, and for me that's really good because, not that I have depth perception problems, but I'm always concerned that I'm like gonna hit, you know, something if the car has like too long of a, you know, snout, like nose. I'll show you guys. Okay, so there's no cars around, so I'm gonna honk the horn now. This is what it sounds like. 
Isn't it cute? Okay, so let me show you guys what I was talking about with the little nose. So see, it's not that like long. It's very short and I like that just because of the fact that when I'm driving, I don't feel like I'm gonna like hit the car in front of me. It's just very narrow, so I love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys what the horn sounds like. This is what it sounds like when I lock my car door or lock my car in general. So anyway, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below telling me what your car is. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.